welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. Gonna do something fun again. Uh, a few videos ago, I used TLP Calypso, really fun color. And I think I'm gonna use it again today. Originally, I was going to use Dynamo, but I kind of got scared, like, cause it's pretty bright. I still could maybe, I don't know. So, you know how I'm really picky when things aren't perfect, right? So for me, um, when the pillow paint comes up, I've made this rule up myself. When the pillow paint comes up, I know that there's a few things that happened that weren't necessarily correct. Now that doesn't mean it doesn't look good, but I know when the pillow paint comes up, it either means you blew too hard stayed in one spot for too long, blew too hard, and then you blew out all the colors. And I think that's what I don't like the most is because I work so hard to mix my colors and get these colors and I love concentrated colors. And when I see the pillow come up, it's like a waste of color. Or it could mean your paints are too thick and that makes the pillow come up too. However, that being said, today I'm gonna purposely make the pillow come up <clears throat> because I don't mind because I'm using a color. So if I were using a white, although again, it could be pretty, but I don't like it as much. I find it like stark unless it's very even or whatever, but still I find the colors very faded. Sneakers is trying to get in. I made a block because there's someone in our backyard fixing our pool. So if you hear like a bang, it's him like trying to break through the wall. Uh, anyhow, so the way I'm gonna do that is a few things. When another third thing of why your pillow paint comes up is you don't have enough actual layers of pouring medium paint to hold up. So I'm today only using four paints and actually one tube paint and the rest sparkle. That's for sure going to get pillow paint up. But I also want to do it in a way where I still get the sparkle. So it's going to be like a balancing act. Let's talk about colors. Um, I discovered last video, yep, in the Earth Day collab, my new favorite gold, Schmanky Classic Gold. I'm really loving the Schmanky colors. Um, oh, Schmoogie, I just dropped a little bit, not to worry, I have a full thing. Okay, it's really nice. You should see the final, I hand painted with this gold, it's really nice, okay? So that's a tube, I just looked right in the line. That's a tube, but it's like a sparkle, so it doesn't really count. My lights are so bright. <laughs> okay, then we have this violet I really like. By the way, another schminky. Um, this is laser violet, so it's a cool violet. And then I have Triart Interference Turquoise. Um, again, it's a tube, but it's a sparkle, so there's not as much filler. And then I'm going just TLP um twinkle which is that's not it which is a kind of purpley blue interference which you can't see but hopefully you'll see it there so you can see i have three sparkles one non-sparkle i'm gonna use white cell activator which is australian flow trial and paint now another thing is for blooms these are good for dutch pores as we know they're actually not the best for blooms but i know it's going to blow up it's gonna blow up color. Uh, for blooms, I actually prefer a round thing, like a mouth, but you wanna blow up that color. I mean, maybe I won't, but we can test it out. Anyways, that's basically it. I have a 14 inch round. Let's see what happens. All right, let's get this color down. Oh, you're gonna hear lots of noise upstairs. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, this is looking good. <laughs> it's like a noise factory. Sneakers is crying in the background. Poor thing. He wants to terrorize that man in our backyard. All right, that should be good enough. Okay, and remember, I'm not going for cells, and I am going out purposefully for blown out colors. I know, that's crazy. But... That's how I roll. I hope I get some color coming through, we'll see. But again, I can adjust, you know what I mean? 
Okay, now I'm actually gonna probably top it off with the gold to help. Oh, hmm. Maybe I should put a bit more. Let me just stretch this out a bit. Yes, okay. I'll put a little bit more in the middle just so I can blow it out further. Let's take that little thing out, that's all. All right. Okay. So what am I, <coughs> excuse me, what am I starting with? Why don't I start with a TLP Twinkle? Okay, it's quite, that one's quite thin. All right, and then I'll do the violet. Okay. Then I'll do the turquoise interference. Okay. Cool. I'll just move these a little bit out of the way for when I spin. Then I will top it off with the gold. Yes, I know. You want to bite and growl at people. All right. Who knows what's going to happen? So I am going to use this attachment and we'll see how I like it. Okay. I'm going to put a big dollop of cell activator. <laughs> I'm just laughing because the noise is like hilarious. Okay, that's a big dollop. All right, are you ready? We're going low. Oh, stop, it's not that bad. The shape's a little weird for now. gonna look different than I imagined. I actually wanted less color, but I'm not gonna complain yet. Um, the four petal thing, that's why also this isn't the greatest because of the shape that it blows out for this, but I can't, I'm not complaining yet. I'm gonna leave this a big chunk for now, okay? Um, I. I definitely see the gold. I don't see much of the interference colors. Hold on, a little boob lay there. Uh, maybe I'll see them more when I spin it up, but not really, but the gold's definitely coming through. I might have to skewer it a bit, um, but why don't we just spin it and see what happens, right? All right, hold your horses here. Definitely interesting. Hmm. It definitely. I was. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep spinning. And then we'll see if we're. What we're doing with her. I don't hate it. It's just. It's just a different vibe. So far. Than my imagination. <laughs> than my imagination. But that happens often, doesn't it? Um. It's Fine. Oh, I do see a bit of the turquoise. Hmm. If I do it again, I might put, I didn't think I would have enough paint, but I definitely put less paint. Maybe I would try blowing without that attachment to see the difference. It's fine. I love this gold. Um, you know, just kind of plain, but it looks like if I had more color, <coughs> it would look better on this shape maybe. Um, yeah, it's just a whatever plain, you know? I have to think about it. What I would do different. Yeah, so if I do it again, which I guess I will, um, I'll use the route. I'll give it one more spin. Okay, it's fine. It's kind of, is it a little boring? Could be. Like, I want it to look like it's boring on purpose. You know what I mean? Purposefully boring. Hmm. 
Um, right now it just looks like a whatever. And I'm I'm seeing a bit of the interference, but not as much. All right, what don't I do? I'm not gonna trash it as of yet. Um, I'm not sure of her fate. The lacing is kind of cool. Like there's some cool spots. And you know, it is a 14 inch and we did, I mean, if I wanted to, I could get full coverage. Um, the lacing's cool. Okay, let's do a close up. And I don't know, we'll see what happens. All right, we've got another 14 inch shirt. We're gonna do it again without the attachment, but I also want, if I'm gonna get full coverage, um, I feel like I want more excitement in there. So I might, because my twinkle is thin, I might put a heavier tube paint first. And I should, shouldn't I? use less paint <laughs> i don't know all right let's i'll just use my finger at this point right i probably used too much already all right okay mm, don't be i'm just gonna even that out a bit and then drip paint everywhere okay so Hmm. Am I doing the same thing? Hmm. I should, you know what? Maybe I don't want to start. I have some purples from my purple video, like a few videos ago, which I really like. And they're custom. Let me find a... The problem with that is I, I can't tell you how I mix them up. Um, should, no, I should do it exactly the same so we can compare, right? That's science. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. Um, oops, but I didn't because I started with the turquoise first, but maybe that's better for us. I'm going to go a little smaller and I'm going to really, um, pile the paints on top of each other instead of doing swirls and that will help with the color concentration. But I am going to swirl this a bit because we don't want big chunks of it, you know? Even though purple and gold look quite fun together. All right. So let's see which one is better. It's kind of harder to aim probably without this on. Let's see. I can definitely get a better bloom shape without it on, you can see. Although it's a little like. Even the blue coming up under the purple is very pretty. Uh, I don't want to blow. Mm. I didn't want to make too many petals. It's kind of cool though. This is a big thing of cell activator. I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I think this gives it more interest for sure. Um, there's some really cool spots. I wanna pop some bubbles. 
All right. Should I leave this or make, hmm. Because is it gonna look weird just having like a white thing right here? I'll break it up a little bit. All right. Why not, right? It's kind of pretty the way it is. Okay. around yeah I really like the blue coming up underneath the purple I think that's really pretty I'm just angling it down so this side comes down Oop. without making it fall <laughs> Definitely pretty. Different look, obviously. So right away, my personal preference is without the attachment. Um, but it just depends the look you're going for, I guess. Right? I'm loving this gold. Right? Let's see how much we've got to. We're pretty good. Um, let's look at, I love this bottom part here. I like, I really like a lot of the areas of this. All right, so there, two different looks. So here she is. Not much of the interference color came up, but that's just because it was too thin. But I do really like this gold and the parts where the blue kind of pops up. It's really pretty. So let me know, are you team attachment or no attachment? Have a good day. Bye.